Welcome back to Marriage Beyond the Veil. So, <clears throat> it's Sunday, mm -hmm. the Sabbath, mm -hmm. um, and I was just reflecting over a Sunday school lesson this morning, focusing on the Sabbath. And, um, you know, for believers, you know, we realize that it's one of the Ten Commandments, you know, to remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Um, and scripture lets us know that man was not made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for man, right? So it's a time to uh, just release all of the, the worries, the challenges, the struggles, and really rest, emphasis on rest. And it is so important that it's one of the Ten Commandments that God wants us to rest. That's right. And so I was thinking about, you know, uh, it's not just resting from like your work, right? But resting with and in the presence of God. Mm -hmm. And that's what's really key. And so, you know, thinking about that in your marriage and in your love relationship, uh, are you taking the time, being intentional to rest with and in Christ? Hmm. What are your thoughts? That I mean, that just puts a whole sort of another spin on it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, because when you think about resting in and with Christ, so that rest also includes time to um, to pray, time to meditate, time to study the Word, time to. Um, you know, time to just be at one with him. And see, <clears throat> this is not about religion mm -hmm. as much as it is about relationship. Because mm -hmm. when we spend time with those persons we're in love with, mm -hmm. and if we're in a love relationship with God and a love relationship with one another, mm -hmm. we realize that intimacy comes from those moments when you truly get to know who you're sharing your journey with and and in those quiet times and in those times of reflection and so you know uh you look at um you look at in the creation story god created six days mm -hmm. on the seventh day he rested it wasn't because he needed the rest it's because he was modeling that we would need to rest right. but then you look after the children of israel were released from slavery mm -hmm. And uh, they had nothing to eat, so he made sure they had quail. Mm -hmm. And then he allowed it to rain manna mm -hmm. from heaven. Right. Manna being this unusual bread mm -hmm. that they didn't know about. Uh, but this is what he provided for them. And the word manna, the Hebrew word, actually uh, really translates into what is this? <laughs> so when you talk about what is this, God provided for them sustenance. And they could take as much as they could consume each day, day. Mm -hmm. but they couldn't take anything extra because if they took anything extra worms and maggots and stuff it would mm -hmm. spoil and there would be maggots and stuff so but on the sixth day mm -hmm. he allowed them to get enough for extra. two days so they, didn't have to. so they didn't have to do that on mm -hmm. the seventh day mm -hmm. what did he want them to do rest and resting in the fact that they could trust him to provide mm -hmm. and so when we think about sabbath in our love relationship, mm -hmm. resting with and in the presence of God mm -hmm. and understanding that our all in all comes from him. And so matter, no matter what we deal with, mm -hmm. individually or collectively, it gives us an opportunity to really reflect over the fact that we serve a God mm -hmm. who loves us unconditionally. We serve a God who wants to be involved in every aspect of our lives. And we serve a God that has our very best interest because as you run and go to and fro and do all the things that you're obligated to do and that you choose to do every day, there needs to be a day of rest. And so what I clearly heard you know, say was also just making sure that when you are taking that time to rest with your spouse as well, mm -hmm. you know, and making sure that you're taking away all the other little things that can keep you from focusing on distractions, distractions. I mean, do you spend, you know, at least some time with your spouse on your day of rest? And, and, and I just want to be crystal clear for those believers who may be a little legalistic. Mm -hmm. It's not about Sunday. It's mm -hmm. not about a day. Mm -hmm. it's, it's about a practice, a mm -hmm. lifestyle. Again, because this is not about religion, it's about relationships. Mm -hmm. So if we want to get this right, so we can get this right, right, increase the intimacy of the relationship that we have with our spouse, that we have with our God. Mm -hmm.
are you practicing the Sabbath? Take some time. It's a commandment mm -hmm. for our benefit. Until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same. Have a good evening.